same dusty sweatshirt, but a new year. So I took a little break from filming, I guess, for the last little bit of New York. So I had company here and uh, I wanted to start with like a fresh mind and palette into 2020. I think it's going to be a big year for me, not even in regards to this, just like general life, I guess. And I am really excited to dive into some new content this year. I got this from my brother-in-law for Christmas. One of these real, like, fancy podcasting microphone situation. So, next video, we're going to have that all <laughs> hooked up. Hopefully, I'll be having a new camera here soon. Got a whole uh, notebook full of great ideas. But, before we move into that, I decided I'm going to just kind of ease back into things. Uh, first, how was your guys' holiday? We missed you guys. Jean even, well, I t say Jean like you all know, one of my subscribers. She even reached out to me on Christmas even though I hadn't posted in so long and was like, happy holiday. And it was just like so nice to receive on Christmas. So anyways, I hope you guys all had an awesome holiday. I'm excited to be back and get in the wheels a turning. Well, that was I saying. Oh yeah, so we're gonna just continue with the declutter. I know, I'm sorry if this isn't your forte, but your cup of tea, but we're gonna continue with the declutter series. I wanna finish that up this week, and then next week we'll dive into some new content ideas that I have written down. But I wanna finish this out first. Um, not that these videos have been doing great. My eyeshadow one like flew off the handle. I have over a thousand views on it, which for me it's like, huh, holy cow, best Christmas gift ever. Uh, but that's really the only one that picked up, but hopefully you guys enjoy them. Some of you had said it's relaxing, not good responses to the ASMR, which I get it. It's not for everyone. So today, these are chapsticks, so ignore it, but I want to go through, like, all my eye stuff, all my mascaras. These are my, I love mascara, so that's why I have 600 again. And then I want to do my picture over here. Hi, hop in the frame case. Get it together. I want to do over there on my, not on my vanity, but on my other makeup, my overflow shelving unit. I have my eyebrow products and my eyeliners, and I think, yeah, that's all we're going to get into today. So this, I don't know what I'm going to title this. Let's, let's dive in. Let's talk about some makeup. Okay, so these are my minis. I don't really keep single shadows. The reason I have all these is because Ipsy has sent me them. Usually, I will pop the pan out and I'll put it in my Z palette, which is in my eyeshadow declutter review. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. But these are the ones that I did keep. These Luna eyeshadows actually perform pretty well. This one's just like super pretty. Like that's so pretty. It's just so pretty. And then I just have this pink one. Um, I was sent these in Ipsy too, which... This is a brand at Target. I haven't used it yet. And I also haven't used this yet. This Mana Kadar one. I love the Lisa Frank vibe. I'm here for it. I love it. This is a really pretty color too. Ooh, look at the fallout. Look at it. Next, I, oh my gosh, I hate that they do this. But sometimes Ipsy, Ipsy sends you these bronzers and it's like, who, this is for a poly pocket because um, no, no one's face, no, it's too small. And the problem is I really like these colors for bronzers, but it's like, what, what brush am I going to use? You tell me to apply these. I can't open this with one hand so you get the picture. And then the last thing is this Space Case Cosmetics. Like what? That is so pretty. That is so pretty. Yeah, so I love that. I don't know when I'll use that color. I, I've swatched it, but I don't think I've used it. It's pretty loud. Okay, and moving on to my um, glitters. Glitter time! I have a plethora of the naked glitters. All these, to be exact. Okay, and I love to cut it. Who doesn't? But I do. I'll tell you that. I love a good crease cut. Okay, so we do that with these. We do that with that's them yep and then I have this gold one by Sinister Furless I don't even know that brand I got it in a box it's kind of dark for me and then here if you guys need a, a base glitter that you can get at the drugstore this is it the NYX pigments oh, they are so great they're beautiful I love them 
This is just the random other odds and ends I have in there. I have my lash glues. This is like a nice drugstore one you could get. And these came with sets of lashes that I got. And I still, I'm not great at putting on lashes, so that's all I can tell you. Um, eyeshadow primers. I use them sometimes. This is the Elizabeth Mott one. You get it on Amazon. In the essence, I Love Stage. This is a very cheap primer. It works just as good, as far as I'm concerned, at neutralizing and holding color as the Urban Decay um, Primer Potion, which was my first primer for my eyeshadow I've ever used, but this works just fine. Then I have three of these, or four of these. This is a Juice Beauty uh, pigment. It's like purpley. Truthfully, I've not used it yet. Um, this DeBriar one, I slap on sometimes. It's cute. It's nothing uh, like crazy awesome or anything like that. These are though. These are crazy awesome. I don't know if this is supposed to be. It's the Shimmer Veil by Cover Effects. I love putting this on a like peachy or pink look. It, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. And this is the new one that I've started messing with, which is a Kate London Eye Luster Cream Eyeshadow. This is the bomb.com. I have to swatch these. Hold on. Bottom is the Kate London one. On the top is the cover effects. Look at that Kate London one. I'm not playing favorites. Yes, I am. Look at that. That's beautiful. Okay, so this first one is the Katy Perry collaboration with CoverGirl. It's called the Katy Cat Eye. The wand on this is super funky. Yeah, like very funky. Honestly, this, this is really clumpy and it's very wet like when I apply it it has it it smears on my upper you know my eyelid my upper and I don't really like it I would not recommend this covergirl has a lot better ones and speaking of that we'll move on to this this here if you haven't heard of this then I don't know what I don't know if you belong here because um this is for makeup lovers I'm sorry no that was rude I don't mean that but this bad boy right here okay she th it's just such a firm wand it separates the lashes i will say if you get the waterproof one it is not going to come off for the next century so i hope you like to wear the same mascara and grow bugs and stuff on your lash line because you're not going to get it off um i get the blackest black in this and this has been a ride or die for me pretty much since i started wearing mascara i think we'll stick right with the drugstore theme and keep it rolling with that next up is the revlon ultra volume mascara i don't like this on its own it is clumpy as well however i usually do i use like at least two different mascaras every day because i'm a psychopath it is really black i really like the pigmentation on this it is clumpy though like i said so what i'll do is apply this first and then i'll layer a lengthening over it um much like this one this is the l'oreal La voluminous lash paradise it says voluminous but i think this is great product to separate your lashes uh oh this is really old do you see that okay after this visit i'm sorry to the, it's a new year new mascara this gives me a reason to buy a new one and i think it's gonna go in the garbage this might be my little sisters if it is and you are watching i'm sorry but you, I'm, I'm doing you a favor by throwing it away it's just too old to be here it's not welcome anymore next we have this l'oreal honestly i got this like three years ago and I'm disgusting for using it but I know it's by L'Oreal and I love this because I'll tell you what this primer works so good it works so good and then you layer this one on top of it which truthfully I usually layer a different one but it's curved like that and it note to self Casey buy this again buy this again and throw this one away because we don't even know what it's called I can't even inform you guys so I feel bad but this stuff is great if you see this in your local aisle, obtain it. Get it. I'm telling you right now. Essence. Get big lashes. This one is, again, a very voluminous mascara. This, I think, retails for like five bucks. So, it is super cheap. Um, you can get it at Ulta. This is almost empty. I haven't used it in a while, to be honest with you. But that's why I like doing these things. Because I refined things that I kind of got lo the lost files, you know, got shoved to the side. You've heard of this probably too, Maybelline, the falsies. My friend was using this and I loved it, so I bought myself one. This is almost out as well, which means we're going to be going mascara shopping. Um, I love this stuff. I don't think it looks like false eyelashes, but it does look good. Again, another one that I like to use with a separate one. 
I have two Wet n Wild mascaras here because I like to use these in conjunction with each other. These are super cheap and affordable, and I recommend buying both, not one. I think they're like three or four, maybe five dollars. I'm not really sure. But what I like to do, once again, you'll see a pattern here, is the Max Volume. These brushes are super sturdy, so you don't get the clumping. Wet n Wild actually makes really good mascaras, in my experience. And then this one kind of fans them out, and I comb through this too afterwards to, like, separate and lengthen. Um, see how the brush is, like, um, you know, it's, it's shaped so that it will really wing out your outer portion of your eyelash, which, if you guys don't know, um, this is a pro tip you the, you want to get super you know a lot of coverage and uh pigmentation on the, the outer parts of your top eyelashes and that will make your eyes go from this to this i swear i swear and i have big eyes they're like my favorite part of me my eyes are the windows to my soul Next, we have the It's Big by Elizabeth Mont. I got this on Amazon. It must have been in a pinch or something because I don't know why I would have ever purchased this. This is a regular schmegular mascara. I don't recommend it, but I'm just trying to use it because I apparently bought it and I don't know why or one. Dolce, I, this is a kind of weird brand. It's in between drugstore and high end. I have first got this Max Lash Volumizer Mascara, which is super pigmented and I do enjoy it um so I saw the other one as an add-on in one of my boxes and I was like well I liked the first one so I'll buy it but this one's even this is like the clumpier sister to that one or brother or whatever the heck you want to do um but I they're not terrible they're not terrible but there's better ones out there speaking of better ones this is a Tarte Big Ego and I'm not saying better ones because this is a better one because I don't really like this very much it's just very Blah to me. This is like $23. If I'm going to pay $23 for a mascara, it's got to have something a lot better about it than that. Um, the tardiest paint, paintiest mascara, that's that's the one. That's the one from Tarte. She's at. This is not. Okay. Tristique's mascara. This comes with an eyelash curler on it. I don't curl my eyelashes. I was blessed with pretty good long curled eyelashes on their own. So that's good and great so long as they're cooperating. I do like this one. It's, it doesn't bend. It doesn't really give. Like very little. So it's really good for separating. It really spreads the product out through all the lashes. And if you usually curl your lashes, this is a good investment. I think it's in the $20 to $25 range. But you're getting an eyelash curler with it. So you can reuse that and stuff. And the Mana Kadar Volumizing Mascara. Um, again. This is kind of expensive, and I don't love it. I don't love it. I don't love it. Going into my minis. Sephora Play loves to send me these Lash Craft Mascaras. If I'm just in a hurry to go to the grocery store or something, and I just want to slap on something to make me look a little more alive, um, I will put one. I will put this on. It's, it's not great. There's nothing inherently wonderful about it. Um, but it's not terrible. I wouldn't suggest buying the full size. I just see how it's kind of like goopy. You see that right there on the edge? Not cute. Another mini I have is by Seraphine Botanicals. I've tried a couple products by them. They are, they do perform really well. I actually really like this. I don't know how much they sell for, so I'm not going to advise you to buy it because I wouldn't spend a ton on it. But I mean, it's a mascara. It works pretty well. And this stuff, I'm so glad I got a sample of. It is the Lancome Eyelash Primer. And I'll tell you what, this this lengthens, it lifts, it does everything you want a mascara to do. It is just so good. Also, I did a, I, here's another pro tip. <laughs> I'm just letting it all out today. If you're doing like a funky look or a winter look, just for like Instagram or something, put this on your lashes or any primer really that comes out white. And it's going to make your eyelashes look frosted. And I really like that look for like just, you know, a little wow factor. I just found a couple more on my vanity that I used today. And um, another Lancome Excessive Black Mascara in the mini. Lancome just has good mascara across the board. I love this. Um, it's expensive though. So I don't know if I'm going to buy a full size. But Sephora Play can keep sending it to me. And I'll keep using it. And the Grande Drama, Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with Castor Oil. I think Castor Oil is supposed to make your shit grow. Well, not your shit, your hair. I don't really care too much for the Grande 
line of mascaras. I I had another one and I ended up passing it on. I just couldn't even force myself to use it. That, that truthfully, that's what it is. And the best mascara I have found to this day ever. Pure big look with argan oil. This this is a wizard Harry. This is it. It's gone, but I'm milk I'm milking every last drop of it. Because it's that good. It is that good. I use it every day. No matter what other mascara I use, I always finish off with this. Pure, pure, okay? I love all their stuff I've tried. This is a good india brand right here. Pure. Read it. Read it. Got it? Moving on. Here are my eyeliners. Some of these are crusted and busted, and truthfully, I don't use eyeliner a lot. But we'll go through them really, really fast. This is the Butter London Roller. It's supposed to, like, roll on. It does not. It does not work like that. It is a hoax. It does not work. It is a gimmick. You heard it here first, people. It is gimmicky. It does not work. This, however, works great. This is the Maybelline, Maybelline Tattoo Studio um, eyeliner in white. I want to get it in black, too. This is awesome. It goes on the waterline. I love a good waterline um, application, I guess you could say. And this is it. This is it. It works great. The ColourPop Cream Eyeliner uh, in gold. I, I don't think this works well. I'm sorry. I love ColourPop. I think they're affordable. I love what they do, but this, this ain't it. This ain't it. Nope. Figure it out. That's not it. Ico makes great liquid liners. This is the Fat <laughs> Ico London. It's got this big old tip on it, and it's good for winging. This Bella Pierre ball bronze eye pencil i've never even used this i don't even know what this is i've never used it i i'm i don't even know jean de blue eyeliner and brown i never use brown eyeliners i truthfully i use those to like sketch out funky looks that i'm doing and this is the clinique um silver eyeliner i've never used like i said i don't really do eyeliner a lot beauty for real gold eyeliner no idea this is great this is new for me this is the mark jacobs eyeliner um yeah this is great this is good stuff I, I like a good pencil liner everything's liquid nowadays like this kate kate uh, what, who does this oh tart sex kit and i think this is a Katy perry collab too no i'm not into that the jean blue um one i have another jean blue i don't you're like why do you have all these if you are not into eyeliner which apparently there's a spell there's a spell alert to forces uh, it's because they send them to me all the time in my boxes, so I just have a ton. This one's great, though. The Punker Liquid Liner. This is super pigmented, and so is this Hank and Henry one. This is great. This is really great. These are the two I reach for probably most if I do decide to go with some eyeliner. The Kate London Fierce Flicks Eyeliner. Um, yeah, I mean, it is what it is. And the Dolce one. This is a fine-tipped one. That's why I like it. Oh, my God. This is so embarrassing. <laughs> These are so dirty. But I don't use them, so I don't take care good care of them. The Illa Mosca, I don't know how you say that. Liquid liner I've never used. And this is the tattooed eyeliner by I should know this, but I don't. So there's that. And then the Obsidian eyeliner by Kaleido Cosmetics. Again, I have nothing to say about that because I don't really know what's going on there. Let's get into brows. Let's get into brows. I know some stuff about this. I know what I like. I know what I like here, okay? I know what I like, and I know what I don't. Okay, the Anastasia Beverly Hills. What is this? Their brow gel. Their clear brow gel. It, it really glues them down there, ladies. It glues them down. This is the Brow Gel uh, palette. I've used this quite a bit. Um, just not alone usually and if I am going to use it alone I wet my brush and then use it and this works all right it lasts forever I've had this for like a year and a half probably I'm in this weird I have this problem but we'll get to that later oh this is an eyeliner by who even knows oh bang beauty this is trash I don't use that the essence make me brow is it's not a dupe for the Anastasia one but it works you can use it this is tinted. I like it. I enjoy it. It's one of the only eyebrow products I've found that actually matches my eyebrow color, so that's good. The Billion Dollar Brows Brow Gel. I have not used that yet. 
Makeup Revolution. This is great. This brow pomade by Makeup Revolution is affordable, not affordable, affordable, and it works great. I would definitely recommend this. Wander Beauty's brow pencil. I like, I don't know, I love hate relationship with Wander Beauty, and this breaks every time I use it. The MAC one did the same thing for me. Uh, I just don't like it. This was a universal brow pencil we got in BoxyCharm. If anyone knows what this is, let me know. I thought I'd hate it. I actually freaking love it, and it's almost gone. And when I saw Universal, I was kind of like, oh, what? How? How? But I love it. I love it so much. The this is a billion dollar brows eyebrow pencil. I love this. I love this. It's great. It doesn't match my eyebrows, but I use it anyway because I'm. Here's a problem I was talking about earlier. I'm in between eyebrow shades. My hair is like. Blonde on the bottom and brown on the top and not because it's ombre bitches, just because I haven't been taking care of it. So <laughs> I just slap whatever on there. This is the Chella eyebrow, eyebrow Definer Gel. Clear gel, no problem. And same as the tar. I don't really have a lot to say about it. They they work fine. I haven't used this yet. Billion Dollar Brows. This is a highlighter and concealer, which I think is going to be kind of neat to use. I just haven't gotten around to using it yet. And my favorite drugstore eyebrow um, pencil which also doesn't match my eyes is the Revlon color stay and I use the shit out of this I like this a lot really that's all folks that's really it today that's all I have for you um like I said I have two more parts of my makeup declutter which is my foundation concealer liquid face stuff and then my powdered face stuff which is like bronzer blush highlight contour kits uh yeah and then we'll move on next week but I'm like I said I'm slowly easing back into this I just went back to work today after having like mostly a week and a half off with the exception of a few hours here and there. So I'm so excited to just take a hot shower and watch Gossip Girl and um, chillax and edit this video. And hopefully you'll be seeing it tonight or maybe tomorrow morning, depending on how motivated I am. Thanks for sticking around. Subscribe if you're new here. We're going to have a lot of fun this year and I will hopefully see y'all next time. Ew, why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that?